What's up everybody? This is JT. Welcome back to my channel. I want you all to start what you're doing just for a minute. Tune in because I got some garage time news and I promise you it ain't going to take long. So, what is this? We ain't going to talk about that right now. We're going to talk about this. So, you know I talked about repainting the Trans Am. I talked about repainting the 442. Uh, which is I did neither one. I practiced on the uh, hood of the Trans Am. I practiced on the hood of the 4.2. All right. <clears throat> so, um, I decided to set, you know, it's hot here in Texas, right? It's very, very hot here in Texas. So, I decided to, when I repainted the hood and stuff to the Trans Am and the 4.2, I decided to sit them out in the sun. Now, mind you, it's hot in Texas, and this is what happened. Set them outside. That's what happened. Look at that. That's just bad. So, enough of that. So, I did melt my hood. So, I did... Uh, I resprayed the Trans Am with clear. And so what I've decided to do, I'm going to go ahead and stick with this. Uh oh, I want to go ahead and stick with this. Move that away. Yeah, I want to go ahead and go with this. It's got a little fish eye right there, but it's just going on the shelf. It's, it'll be okay. So I want to go with this. Get yeah, no. now. And that's simply because I need to. I, I and I try wet sanding y'all, and I practice on the hood. Y'all see what happened to the hood, but the four forty two. I resprayed it also with resprayed it also with clear coat, and I think I want to dip this again because it's got too much fish eye in it. And you know, I'm gonna practice wet sand on it again before I uh, before I dip it. But I prob I'm probably gonna dip it. It looks really really good if it wasn't for all the other extra stuff we got going on. All right, so we talked about that. So, I've done a little therapy, y'all, because I needed, if y'all know, I did a quick build before because I felt like I needed to. So, Sunday, I worked on this stuff here, <clears throat> and I, I got the engine done. I, I had to wait to go buy some more uh, high gloss. I bought some high gloss. From Lowe's, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all what not to use. Do not use this, okay? Don't even think about it, okay? From Lowe's, it's no good. All right, don't think about it. So I had to wait to have the lobby open up until so I can buy me some more uh, testers so I can brush. So I can uh, brush paint, you know, my engine, re, -re brush it, the, the transmission, the oil pan, you know, stuff like that. I had to get some more gold paint. I did do the chassis. Uh, you see a little chrome for the brackets and stuff on it. So I did that. Um, I did the carpet for the interior. Uh, that the interior is going to be white. I got to clean this little bit here up. Um, 
did the firewall. This is my first time doing a colored firewall. Any other time, I leave the firewall black. But in this case, it's going to be the same color of the car. I did the hood. And I did the tires. Now, I got to touch up the white walls, but I did the tires. Also, I did this grill. Did the grill. And the inside, like I said, is going to be white. The top is going to be white, so I'm not going to put no color in none of that. I'm just going to detail all this stuff there. And over here is just small pieces. Miscellaneous feet, not miscellaneous pieces, but small pieces like engine parts, battery, you know, headers, stuff like that. Uh, what is all this going on? This. Going on this. 65 uh, Impala convertible. That's what is going on. So I started on this actually Sunday, like I said. And uh, I never got a chance to uh, uh, Sunday. So I painted, I had this car painted and everything. And it. I moved it because I'm going to see the body dehydrator. And it fucking failed. So I just went ahead and put in the paper phone right there in there. I just pulled it out maybe about 30 minutes ago, cleaned it up real good, dried it off real good, and I just resprayed it. Now, this time, I didn't use any primer because I'm using a rust only, and it is a beautiful color. If you're looking for a beautiful red color, there you go. <clears throat> this is the color right here. Very, very beautiful color. And so I didn't do any primer because this is a, a paint and primer. So I'm going to see how that looks. Now, I didn't use primer on this part either. So the hood has primer. So I think that will, I'm, I'm thinking that will reduce some of the, um, some of the, uh, some of the orange peel. Okay. So we'll see how that comes out. Uh, what else? So wet sand, and y'all, I promise you, I really, 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 really want to wet sand. That's what I've been trying to wet sand with. I suck at wet sanding. I don't know what I'm doing. I it's just, I wish somebody was here, right here with me, just to, you know, show me so I can look at them do it. You know, this is what I've been using. I'm gonna try again on the 442, y'all. This weekend, I'm gonna try on the 442. Um, and if I mess up, I'm just going to dip it if it don't come out right. I have the wax. I have the compound. The hoods just didn't come out right. All right. So next up, I don't know if I showed y'all this or not, but uh, this is a part of my stash ad. Uh, I, I don't know if I showed this in the last video or not. But anyway, I bought this off Marketplace. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. I met the guy with it. You know, that was it. Easy buy. Ten dollars. You can't beat that for that kid. Ten bucks. So, I went to Hobby Lobby also Monday, yesterday, and I got this. And I've been wanting this kit, but I've been waiting on the opportunity to get it, right? So, it's the 90 Mustang LX5, you know, drag, blah, 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 blah. Right? So, I think this is a two in one kit. It is a two in one kit because um, you can make it into a. Uh, a stock or drag. Now, let me show y'all. Let me let me let me show y'all what, what happened. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all the receipt in just a second. Well, put, y'all not gonna believe this. And this 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 uh, this is the deals that I've been looking for. Okay, so the instructions was on the shelf behind the box. If you go to Hobby Lobby, you already know how the boxes are standing up. This was behind that box, in between this box and another box. All right, <laughs> what was in the pack? That's what was in the pack, okay? Which is this package wasn't open, all right? And this package was open. Now this this is just how it is. From the looks of thing, now the rest of the stuff was sitting in a box like this, okay? We all know the decal sheets coming up thing. The body was it's still in the bag. It had these parts hanging loose. And 
those tires, okay, and those engine heads. So I quickly um, browsed through the box, you know, and I put it in my basket. I took it up, put it up front with me. And uh, I told him, I said, well, uh, I said, this kit been open, you know, uh, this kit has been open, you know, we all discounted, which is, I know that will because I do this at Michael's and Hobby Lobby all the time. Um, I said, we'll, you know, y'all discounted. I showed the manager, you know, he said, oh, yeah, you know, um, well, we're discounted. And he was like, how 50% sound? I'm like, ah. So I got out of my calculator. I did 50%. Then I added the tax into it. I'm like, nah. I say, for it being open, I'm just only going to use it for parts, you know. So, um, he said, okay. Well, I said, how much would it, how, I said, how, and I asked, I said, how much would it been 40% off the regular price? And, you know, we came up with that price. He was like, I tell you what, he was like, he said, well, let's do this such a amount off. We're going to, we going to, I'm going to give it to you at this price at the 50% off. And then I'm going to take 40% off of that, you know. So this is what I end up paying for. Right here, eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine is what I pay for that kit. So from the looks of it, the kit is damn near uh damn near complete. I, I think it's all the way complete. I have just really scanned through but the looks of things, it looks all the way complete. Look like somebody started on and said hell with it and you know put it back, or either somebody probably bought it for their child or uh most of the time that's what happens. A lot of people buy for their kid and you know they get it out and attempt to put it together and then don't because what they what they did was uh, like i said they just put the tires on there and look like they tried to take the engine out and you know possibly put it together but anyway i didn't think they know what they were up against so they just took it put it back on the shelf but i go around looking for open kits you know i can always i can always get an open kit and then add to it you know or make the best out of open kit so that's what i do i do that all right so Y'all seen that? That's one of the stash ads. So I think that's a good, damn good stash ad for the for the for the week. You know. Uh, what else? Oh, so let me show y'all this. So I was joking about this. Okay. <laughs> so this is actually paint. It's not the actual hood. It's the paint. Um, what happened is I uh, Sunday. I tried to wet sand, practice wet sanding on both of the hoods on the 442 and the Trans Am. Neither one came my right. So what I did was I just threw every damn thing in the in the purple pond, along with that red and Paula. Uh, and tonight when I got it out, um, I went to pin in the edge and it all just peeled off. So how about that? And it peeled off in the mold, so in the mold of the hood. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just tell him I said I sat in the damn hood, man. You know? <clears throat> if I would have said nothing, I think y'all probably would have went with it. Am I right or wrong? All right, anyway, y'all, that's the Garage Time News. I thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you all to, for all thank you to all my new subscribers. Uh I attempted to respond to mess to comments the other, other day. I didn't get a chance to. If you got a, a notification that I like the comment, I am gonna go back to it uh and look at it. And man, y'all have been uh y'all man, y'all have been putting videos out left and right man i really can't keep up with it uh yeah uh my guy man he's back in the studio he's back at the bench uh he posted a video i watched it all didn't get a chance to comment on it but i had been checking on him you know here and there through email you know so i'm glad to have him back man they've been following me and he's been on my channel since i did the uh the chevy el camino he has not missed the beat so and I got a lot of y'all on here that's like that. I, I can get to call the names. I don't want to because I don't want to miss nobody. But I, a lot of y'all been rocking with me since damn near day one. And I definitely appreciate it. I definitely appreciate the support. Uh, so I'm going to work on getting the comments, uh, uh, responding to comments. So y'all just hang tight with me, okay? All right, y'all. That's it. That's all. Good night. I will see y'all in the next video. And 
don't forget, I'm going to do another giveaway. All right, so y'all stay tuned.